Hello everyone, Mav Hunter here from the YouTube channel Mav's Outdoor Adventures. Many times when I've been camping out of my Xterra for two or three days, I come back after a cold morning in the field wanting a hot beverage. Sometimes that's hot cocoa, but mostly for me that means it's a hot cup of coffee. These little Starbuck Vias, these little instant coffee packets, you know, they'll work in a pinch. But to me, there's nothing that beats coffee made from coffee grounds. So today I'm going to review a product I've used almost five years, which is this little GSI uh, coffee press coffee maker. I've been really impressed with it. So let's unbox this GSI personal Java coffee press. Y yes, I've kept it in the box just for storage when it's in my Xterra all these years. It comes, the plunger is separate. Everything else is self-contained within the Java cup itself. <clears throat> There's a little arrow on the top of the lid right here. And when you take this lid on and off, you want to make sure the arrow lines up with the spout opening. Because with that air gap, it takes there and it doesn't have as much suction it's easier to get off so with that we'll remove the the plunger lid and it's all self-contained this is the coffee press screen and it comes nested with its own little eight ounce coffee mug and the coffee mug also has a lid as well this is the brew pot so you take your ground coffee, depending what taste, how strong you like it. I usually use about four tablespoons of ground coffee, and I'll add the coffee. Separately, we have to boil some hot water, and you want to make sure to add the water when it's, when it's bubbly, when it's hot. And then we give the pot a good little stir. We run the plunger through the top lid. We screw it into the coffee press screen like so and then we add the lid back to the top and once again I like this arrow on the lid pointing to the opening of the spout and then it goes on really easy rotate the arrow so that the top spout is now closed and we let the coffee brew in the pot uh, for five to seven minutes depending how strong you like your brew after that time, we can then push the plunger down and press the coffee. We rotate the arrow on the top of the cup till it points to the spout. And now we're ready to pour. This little brew cup will make two eight ounces of hot coffee. To remove the lid, always pull the plunger up because it removes the, the suction, the gap. And you can take off the lid. And when you're done, you can rinse it out and get rid of your coffee grounds. Now when we've done a quick summary and review of the parts, let's take this review out to the field. Spending a few days out in the western Arizona desert scouting for mule deer, and I thought I'd have a cup of coffee on this overcast chilly morning so I have this little uh, GSI personal Java press so it's a press coffee maker comes complete with this little kit and a press plunger also comes with a mug everything stores inside which is nice I have a separate mug here that I use And let's get into making some coffee. Okay, I've put in uh, just over two cups of some fresh, cool water into the jet boil, which will heat up. Prepare the coffee.
you can add coffee to your taste how you prefer it, strong or weak. I like it about medium. Now we need to heat the water. Okay, it's been over just a minute. The water is hot, steamy, and bubbly. So we'll shut off the little stove there. Hot boiling water. We've added the coffee to the press container. Now we add the hot water. Give it a good stir. Add the plunger and the seal. But we don't push the plunger down just yet. We let this sit for about three to five minutes to allow the coffee and the boiling water to brew. While the coffee's brewing, I'm gonna prepare my mug. I like a little cream and milk in my coffee. So I'll go in my refrigerator here and get out the creamer and my milk. There we go. And the wait begins. Okay, it's been over five minutes. Actually, it's been seven minutes. I gave it a little extra time to get a good brew. And now we uh, press down the coffee press, the plunger, slowly. And that presses the coffee down. Turn it to pour. And for me, this makes about one and a half mugs of coffee. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Good and hot, too. So, got some oat breakfast, oats and honey breakfast bars. I've got a cup of Cheerios. I'll put some milk in there with my Cheerios and have myself a little early morning breakfast in the Arizona desert. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up icon. To stay tuned for new video releases, please click the red subscribe button. Special thank you to those who've subscribed to my channel, and thank you for watching.